Today, we're going to do a quick introduction to memetics. Memetics is a notation to encode logical relations and perform logical arithmetic, with applications in graph databases, large language models and retrieval augmented generation, and proof assistance. In memetics, all knowledge is broken into units called memes. A meme states that some A has some relation R to some B. For example, Alice's uncle is Bob, A Alice, R uncle, and B Bob. Next, let's write this relation in a math-like notation. We might treat this as a function, where the relation R is a function that takes A as input and outputs B. This is close to what we want, but we'll make one small change. In memetics, we use an R function that takes A and B as inputs while outputting true or false. Or in this case, uncle Alice Bob equals true. Now for ease of typing, let's rewrite this statement as a dot r colon b equals true. Or in this example, Alice dot uncle colon Bob equals true. Now let's dive into some example logic arithmetic. Given that Alice has an uncle Bob, we can deduce a number of logical relations, which we can encode using memetics. Our first deduction is that Alice must have some unnamed parent whose brother is Bob. So let's encode that. Here we use a relation chain. Alice.parent.brother colon Bob equals true. This accurately denotes the relation between Alice and Bob and indicates the unnamed parent. Now let's write a rule explicitly stating that relation of relations that an uncle is a parent's brother. Dot uncle equals dot parent dot brother. The double equal sign indicates that any true A and B on the left side will also be true on the right side. This is how memetics encodes relations between relations. Now let's make a second deduction. Uncle and brother both signify male gender, so we know that Bob is a male. How would we encode that? Conventionally, we might make a statement like Bob.gender colon male equals true. However, we're going to do something slightly different. We encode that Bob is male by writing Bob.male colon Bob equals true. We call this a reflexive relation when A and B are the same. Back to our Alice Uncle Bob relation chart. We know that Bob male Bob. And just like we did for the uncle relation, we can define the brother relation as the chain of sibling dot male. Now we know the ARB relation structure. A dot R colon B. Let's now extend this with a third deduction, that if Bob is Alice's uncle, then Alice is Bob's niece. In memetics, niece is the inverse relation of uncle. Every relation intrinsically has an inverse relation. For any A dot R colon B that is true, we automatically know the inverse is true, which is written B apostrophe R colon A. This is memetic notation for an inverse relation. And we'll end with equals Q, where Q is true or false. This is the fundamental theorem of memetics. Back to the Alice Uncle Bob chart. We can take every relation here and invert them. Take a look at the inverted relation definitions. Male is reflexive, meaning it's A and B are the same, therefore it is its own inverse. Inverse uncle, is defined by a chain that has been inversed and reversed. We've now covered true-false relations in memetics, but what about numeric relations? Say, for example, we want to encode that Alice's height is 1.7 meters. Intuitively, we might think of Alice height 1.7. However, we'll need to include the units of meters, as Alice's quantity of height would be different if we measured in inches or miles. So instead, we'll write Alice height meter equals 1.7. B becomes a unit and Q becomes a numeric quantity. Or more generally, object measure unit equals quantity. It is important to remember, whenever Q is a number, B must be a unit. And finally, we can invert this numeric relation where the quantity is inverted to 1 over itself. So whereas one Alice measures 1.7 meters, one meter measures 0.6 Alice's. Memetic notation allows computers to efficiently make logical deductions from a small amount of data and a small set of rules. There are many more features defined in the memetic spec, 
which you can read at memelang.net. Please give it a read, and please let us know how you're incorporating memetics into your projects.